Hey, how y'all doing out there? Today I want to talk about the LG V30 in 2021. Is it still worth picking up? Now I know this phone came out quite a few years ago, at least about, what, four years now? And I gotta tell you, it's something about this device. I still love this device. Now of to, of the, of to date, this is still my favorite LG phone. Now, I know some may find that hard to believe, but it just is. I mean, it's I don't know what it is about this. I just love this device. Now, I've had the LG uh, V10, the V20. I've had the V40. I didn't really care for it. I didn't mess with the L50, the V50, I mean, sorry. And um, I'm getting ready to get my hands on the V60, but still to date. And the G8, the G8X, I didn't care for that either. This is still my favorite LG phone out of all those other phones. Now, the V10, when it first came out, it was so unique. It was different. It was built like a tank. Um, the build quality on that was excellent. But this one still stole my heart. There's something about the V30 that's still a brilliant device to, to this date. Now, it comes with a 6-inch POLED Quad HD display. I mean, the display on this thing is absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. I love this t this display. Now I don't I don't know why um, LG has gotten away from Quad HD displays because the battery life I get on this phone has been phenomenal, and I'm talking a hundred percent brightness. So I don't know why they got away from Quad HD with their newer devices. Um, I don't like that because there's nothing like a Quad HD display. It looks absolutely beautiful. Now you can look around. The device, you got your two cameras on the rear. You got your fingerprint sensor and you got your, um, you know, LED flash. I mean, this phone was built very, very well. Um, it's not a heavy phone. It's really light for those people that don't like um, heavy phones. You got your volume rockers on the left and nothing on the right now. You got the power button is built into the fingerprint sensor, which I don't like. It's just weird not being able to hit the power button right here. But that's just the way LG had did up until that point. But, you know, eventually you get used to it. Now, when you see the bezels at the top, you can see the bezels. It's thin. It's not even that large, honestly. And you can see, you know, the bezels around the side a little bit and a small bezel down the bottom. Not an issue at all. It doesn't, you know, disturb me at all. It doesn't bother me with viewing media content or anything. It's just, you know, it's not bad. Like, I know some older phones, like the... Um, the Nexus 6P, the bezels on that phone are out of this world. They were just so ridiculous, like unusable <laughs> for me, you know. So, but this phone is just great. I mean, think about this Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back, IP68 water and dust resistance, okay? 3,300 milliamp battery, which was absolutely phenomenal. I mean, this phone lasts me two days easily. And if I don't even, if I use it lightly, it can last me seven days. This battery life is ridiculous, okay? And you got 64 gigs of internal storage, which probably for the average person is plenty. You got expandable memory up to one terabyte. So that's awesome. You're getting four gigs of RAM. Now, you know, most phones today, you know, are rocking anywhere between six to 12 gigs of RAM. You know, RAM is the thing today. And it makes, you know makes for even more pleasant overall experience performance and also holding more apps open and also for people that like to play games on their phone so you know ram's going to be important to some people not everybody for some people four gigs of ram is plenty then you got the fingerprint sensor which i talked about on the back that works very very well let me show you to you now i'm not saying it's the fastest in the world but it works it's 100 percent accurate not the fastest, but it is 100% accurate. Okay? All right. You got face unlock. Now, face unlock works very well. I'll show it to you. It, that's not slow at all. That's pretty quick. Especially for a phone this old. Look, at, look how fast that works. So, the face unlock <laughs> works great. Okay? Now, I don't know why um, LG... With their last, I think, three flagships have taken away face unlock from their phone. I don't understand that. I don't get that. You know, that's a, you know, um, a flagship 
a flagship feature. So, I mean, if you have a front-facing camera, why would you take away face unlock? So, I don't get that. You got Bluetooth 5.0. You're getting a headphone jack down at the bottom. No, I'm sorry. This is where LG still had it at the top. So, it's at the top right here. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with a built-in 32-bit hi-fi quad DAC that sounds absolutely amazing. Even to this day, that quad DAC on this phone still sounds absolutely amazing it sounds way better than samsung's uh equalizer you know their 32-bit system on their phone this sounds much much better okay you got your always on display which i'll show you which lg in my opinion makes the um second best always on display in the business samsung is number one but lg is right behind them i love that love that always on display it's nice and big and bright and um now, as far as Android and software updates now, this the last update for this device was Android 9, unfortunately. So it will not be getting any more Android updates or security updates. Now, if somebody out there is still getting security updates, let me know down below in the comments. Um, but f I haven't received one since 2019. And, you know, to me, the two biggest downfalls um, or issues I've had with this phone would be there's no more software updates and that speaker at the bottom is just not good it's just blah <laughs> okay now let's talk about one of the things that people like about this phone also is the cameras now the cameras on this device were absolutely great like i had a great experience with these cameras even the front facing camera and i know people have complained saying the front facing camera was trash but i'm just telling you with my experience with this and the pictures i've taken with the front facing camera took great photos for me i can't speak for other people and their experience but the front facing camera i had no issues with it whatsoever and the rear cameras were absolutely i mean just phenomenal like let me see if i can pull up some pictures real quick to show you let me see what i got in here Ready? Okay. Here's a picture of me and my baby. Another picture here. These pictures came out very, very good. I don't know how well you can see them through the camera. But I like the photos that this thing took. see that's a picture of me right there coming on from church all right all right so those are all the pictures i had you know still in this phone but like i said i i love the cameras on this device you know you got manual mode you know you got i mean it offers a lot let's 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 look at the camera features real quick for those that's really not familiar you got ai you got ai cam sorry i didn't mean to bring that up <laughs> Let me see. How do I, I haven't worked this camera in a minute? Let me see. How do I pull up all those other modes? Okay, wait a minute. Not that way. All right. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm sorry. I figured it out. <laughs> so you got manual camera, which is like pro mode, basically. Um, you got manual pro video. You get um, this something here that says cut video um you got pop out f um feed slow-mo panorama snap movie uh snapshot 360 panorama time lapse um match shot grid shot guide shot flash jump and youtube live so you do get a lot of versatility with this camera a lot of different modes um probably like the majority of these i've never ever used because i'm just a point and shoot type of guy so you know i didn't need to use all those modes but just to say again y'all now do i think this phone is still relevant even in 21 i am gonna say yes if you're not having any issues with it if it's not um lagging on you and slowing down if it's still working pretty much the same as when you first got it i say keep it if you're okay with no more 
software security updates, I say keep it. It's definitely worth it. But if not, I would say move on to something else. Keep it as a backup just in case you may need it. But I haven't had any issues with um, performance performance on this. Okay, let me just let, let you see this real quick, the video. Now, it's loud like this because I added uh, the speaker booster, so it's a little louder than it normally is. But you can see the, the media experience is not bad. You know, it's a beautiful OLED display. So let me go into a couple of things so you can see how fast it moves. It's not bad. I mean, for the phone to be this old, I mean, it's still pretty quick. Let me see. I mean, you got a Snapdragon 835 processor in here. So, I mean, you got a flagship pl uh, processor in here. Remember, this was a flagship phone when it came out. This wasn't no budget phone. So, I haven't had any issues as far as performance at all. I mean, of course, it's not as fast as the newer phones, but it's fast enough for the average. It's fast enough for the average person. You're not gonna have any issues with it. But like I said, if you are having issues with your device, then it may be time to move on to a different device. But as you can see, no lag at all. At least I'm not getting any. Nothing. So this is still a great device in my opinion. Um, now I'm not the biggest fan of LG, I guess maybe so much, I guess it's more geared towards the software. I don't really like their skin that much. <clears throat> and also, you know, I don't know. They've kind of, sometimes I feel like they don't keep up with the competition. And also, um, the thing with LG is that their software updates are so slow. I mean, it's really, really bad. So they really need to do a better job of that. But I'm going to say, once again, overall, this is still a great device. It's still my favorite LG phone to date. And I absolutely love this device. And would I recommend it? Absolutely. Like I said, if you're not having any issues with it, it's still running great, and you don't care about the security or the software updates, keep your device. Rock that Quad HD display. Rock that 32-bit um, Hi-Fi Quad deck. And just enjoy the smooth performance of this phone because... It runs very, very well. All right, so that was my quick, um, you know, just want to talk about the LG V30 in 2021. And I do thank you guys for taking the time to view this content. Hope you guys are staying safe, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.